first one that we're going to have is uh, Catman. I'm itchy. I <laughs> Catman. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't expecting that one. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Catman is from DC Comics. Uh, his real name in the comic books is Thomas Blake. Thomas Blake. That's a badass name for such a horrific character he oh, plays. I know. He's got relatives, uh, Reese Blake. Uh, mother is Sienna Blake. And he's got a son, Thomas Blake Jr. Thomas Blake Jr. Instead of Bruce Wayne. <laughs> I don't want to be thank you, Dad. I don't want to be Catman. He's been associated with the Secret Six, the Misfits, and Suicide Squad. Uh, his base of operations have been Africa and Gotham City. <laughs> uh, he's aligned technically now as neutral, so he's not oh, he's evil right. or good. He's one of those bad guys that's not really a bad guy, just like a, kind of like a criminal. Yeah. But not really a bad guy. Like he's, like, he, he's almost like a Catwoman-style criminal. Yeah, he's, he's a thief. Yeah. So he just went along and just stepped out and retired. He's always opened up a bar. Uh, his identity is still secret for everybody. So yeah. people haven't figured out who he is. Right, not Batman, though. American citizenship, even though he's got a base in Africa. Uh, he's uh, single. So mar- his marriage status right, is he's single. A uh, he's six foot. This seems like a, a Tinder profile that you've mm-hmm. been giving us. Mm-hmm. Six foot tall, 179 pounds. So decent, decent tall. Uh, blue hair and blonde. Oh, uh, God, I can't even talk. Blue hair. <laughs> he didn't die. Might as well. Yeah. Uh, blue eyes and blonde hair. Instead of Bruce Wayne, black hair, blue eyes. Uh, Catman first appeared in De- Detective Comics number 311. God in, dang. In January 1963. Wait, 311? Yeah. 1963? He, Batman came out in 1939, right? Detective Comics, yeah. Detective Comics? Yeah. 311, there's only 12 issues a, a year. So they must have been pumping them out so like uh, like in a serial of like a weekly type of thing. Well, Detective Comics is the one that Batman first came up in. Right, right. In the 1930s. But I'm saying like number 311 would be really high up there for only being 30 years. Right. Yeah. Uh, no. If it, let's say if it's 12 issues a season or 12 issues a year. Isn't it bi-monthly? That'd be even longer then. It'd Are you be- saying that that number is not high enough? That's or- too high is what I'm saying. Uh, it seems real high to me. 30 times 12 is what? <laughs> That's just funny. I'm not going to give you the answer either. Is it 312? <laughs> it's about that, yeah. They, okay, so I was wrong. So, yeah. I guess it just seems like a lot for like it being so, like, but then again, it, like. Well, think about it. 30 times 10 is 300. Oh, yeah. So that's just about right. Yeah, I guess that's true. So it did come out, but that means like that's like an unbroken chain of monthly yeah. issues. That's beautiful until we hit the new fifty-two, and then it broke it all. Uh, he was created by Bill Finger and Jim Mooney, so the same guy that created Batman was also the one that created Catman. Trying to make the same type of uh, well, they didn't do too well <laughs> the second time around. Uh, and then a different Catman once opposed the Blackhawks in Blackhawks number one forty-one. But he has no connection with the more prominent Batman. Okay. Anymore, so. I imagine like the guy that created, like they're just like they, they take a line of coke, right? It, it, like in the editor's office. Okay, here's the thing. So okay, you know we got Batman, right? And that was a huge hit. Now think about this character. His name is. Listen here, Catman. <laughs> and he's just like get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, in the the character's biography. During pre-crisis, so this is before uh, Final Crisis and all the the big uh, revamps of DC Comics anyway. So Catman was Thomas Reese Blake, a world-famous trapper of jungle cats who turned to his crimes because he had grown bored with hunting and had squandered most of his millions. So I'm broke, so time to go to crime. He became. <laughs> you know what happens nowadays when you, you go broke for after a certain ventures? You go to... Uh, straight to porn. That's what I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's a straight, straight to OnlyFans. I mean, yeah, like mine as well. <laughs> he became a buzz. That, that was going to be my last option. Like, it's always there, so I don't have to worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a, I'll be a OnlyFans before I go homeless. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, like if I'm going to be homeless, I might as well, you know, start eating some ass. <laughs> Make some money. Doing the next two girls, one cup. One man, one dream. <laughs> So he became a burglar who committed his crimes in a cat suit made out of an African. 
<laughs> you know, I, I might not be the greatest detective in the world, right? Sure. But if if I heard on the, like, I'm assuming it would be a huge, like, news story in Gotham City that uh, the famous uh, cat catcher, yeah. uh, Thomas Blake, is suddenly retired to, to uh, Gotham, right? Sure. And then, like, two weeks later, there's a man dressed up as a cat. Yeah. Rob, like, huh, I'd be putting two and two together real fucking quick. <laughs> and his uh, costume, his cat suit was made out of an uh, ancient African cloth. Gee, <laughs> I find that, I, like, you get that cloth right, like, in the crime scene, and you have it taken back to the analysis, all it can be found in Africa. We hear Thomas was in Africa for a long time. Yep. <laughs> and his costume, he says, was modeled after Catwoman's disguise. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, Catwoman, not too pleased to have like, her motives on Mirandai copy, <laughs> which resulted in Selena Kyle being roughly, uh, uh, wrongly implicated for Catman's crimes at least once. How the fuck would they get, uh, was she like five foot seven? How would they confuse a man's shape to a woman's shape? He's like six feet. Like, that's a man. And because of this, she initially helped Batman against him. Is that when it first started, huh? Yeah. Maybe we should be thanking him then. <laughs> it's like, thank you. I got, I got that pussy. <laughs> I got that Percy. <laughs> Thanks to you. Uh, like that old cat woman from the 1960s. When they used to do that all the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, as with many Batman villains in their first appearances, Catman was originally a gimmicked car- a villain who stole items along a cat theme, oh, such Lord. as car statues. He leaves fucking hairballs just spit up on the fucking car. <laughs> Cat's eyes, emeralds, etc. His weapon of choice was a pair of steel claw tip gloves with a razor's edged cataract. That's actually a good fucking attack. <laughs> a cataract? He just fucking slammed, like, just cl- like claws. You're like, hey, hey, shit. <laughs> Cats already can hurt like a mother. Yeah, these motherfuckers know how to fight. <laughs> uh, the Catman would reappear once more, this time revealing that the orange uh, African cloth in his uniform gave him nine lives. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Why are they going to make it weird? <laughs> the character first shows his capacity for good causes whenever he rescues Batwoman from nearly dying. He grieves some. Uh, he gives her some of his costume fabric, believing she too will have nine lives because of that. He resumes his criminalistic ways, but Batwoman, temporarily uh, infiltrating his trust to be his new partner with a new costume as Catwoman, but instead of like Catwoman, let's one word, Cat Dash Woman. Oh God! <laughs> so I hear you saying my name, and I don't hear the hyphen in there. <laughs> you I know, can feel it. You know, Selena Kyle wasn't wasn't too happy about that. Uh. <laughs> so, uh, but Batwoman reasons the entire cloth has only nine lives in it, not individual pieces. So, so it has uh, to have the entire cloth to get the nine lives. And uh, she fucking tested it out and ends up dead. And manipulates events until Catman only has one life remaining. But she's just fucking shooting him? Yeah. Throwing him in front of a fucking car? Uh, Batwoman attempts to convince him to turn himself in, but Catman attempts to kill her so he can escape. He's like, before being defeated by Batman and Robin. <laughs> so the Batwoman didn't even do it. It's like, eh. Um, then we have Outcast comic. Uh, or the Outcast, uh, the Batman series that they had for him. Mm-hmm. So in 1992, Catman appeared in Batman Shadow of the Bat as a member of a team called the Misfits, led by Killer Moth. The Misfits were portrayed as third-rate villains <laughs> trying to prove themselves Foreshadowing, uh, foreshadowing Brad Meltzer's treatment of the character in Green Arrow. Catman reappeared in 1995 crossover uh, between Shadow of the Bat and Catwoman. In this story, the cloth that Catman's costume was made from was retconned as belonging to a South Sea cat cult instead of an African tribe. South Sea cat cult? Yes. Great choice, cat cult. Cat cult. He <laughs> loves saying that word. It's part of the cat cult. Yes, it's, it's good old cat cult. <laughs> Catwoman was hired by the cult to return the cloth, but gave the them... Cat cult kind of catwoman. But gave them a fake. The cat cult kind of catwoman to catch cat man. <laughs> We're going to have a drug. <laughs> cat cult kind of catwoman catch cat man. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Monsieur Mola. Monsieur. Sends a, uh, rat, a warp to abduct Blake. The implication being that Catman had met a rather grisly end as Mahler's, uh, as Mahler's uh, dinner. The situation is alluded to by Blake. Don't they fucking hate him? When he joins the Secret Six. Uh, so then we go into the Secret Six, which is the next series that he was a part of. So he went from 1995 to 2005. <laughs> God damn, he must have been real retired. Yeah. 
In the 2005 miniseries, Villains United, which I do remember that series pretty well, uh, Catman resurfaced in Africa where he attempted to resalvage his life and began living with a pride of lions. Good idea. Yeah. He just like, started. We live with a bunch of lions. He don't fucking eat me. Uh, he used this time to lose weight and regain his sense of self worth and finding skills. Was he out of shit? Was he out of weight? He got fat. 305 pounds? Uh, this perfect existence, as he would call it, would be shattered by the arrival of the Secret Society of Supervillains. Great <laughs> choice. <laughs> the cat- so the cat- seven. <laughs> However, uh, seeking to unite all of Earth's supervillains under his control, Lex Luthor, uh, sought to recruit Catman into the fold as a minion, only to be rejected. It was initially believed that an angry Lex Luthor had Deathstroke kill the lions Catman had been living with in retaliation for being rejected by a nobody, That's as he would call them. But this was later revealed to be a misdirection. So he didn't really. So he killed the lions. No, I don't, I don't remember who actually. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you want to know what happened to, to Simba? Kind of. <laughs> Scar took over. That's what happened. <laughs> uh, Catman vowed revenge against Luther and was subsequently reunited, uh, recruited into a criminal syndicate known as the Secret Six. Together, the Secret Six waged war against the Secret Society of Supervillains under the direction of an individual known only as Mockingbird. During that time, he found out that it was in fact fellow Secret Six member Deadshot who had killed his lions. That motherfucker. So that he would join the organization. God dang Will Smith. Deadshot would later apologize and uh, Catman, I was going to say Batman, Catman forgave him. I wouldn't forgive that motherfucker. Although the two were reluctant allies at first, the two soon bonded and became uh, what one would call loosely close friends. They killed my whole family. Must be bros. <laughs> Thanks for saving me, bro. I was stuck <laughs> in that pride of lions for a long time and they wouldn't let me leave. Oh, by the way, you know that uh, Will Smith uh, added his uh, his slap t- to uh, Chris Rock in the new ba- uh, Bad Boys movie? Really? Like they reference it or they, they, they have like a homage to it or something. I don't know if he slapped some random comedian or something in the movie, but they, they pay tribute to it or something. That's fucked up. Yeah, and Chris Wells, that's fucked up. <laughs> that's exactly what he said. That's fucked up. But then he did he did go hard on Jay. He slapped the shit out of him. I want to <laughs> say, I want to see the movie just to see what he slapped, who he, what, how it was referenced at all. Yeah. He just walks up to somebody and slaps the shit out of him. I could see that. Keep my wife's name at your fucking mouth. <laughs> that's what I think he would, that's how that, 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 he <laughs> That's how I see it in my head. Like I say, but so keep your wife's name out of my fucking mouth. He's like, keep your wife's name out of my fucking mouth. <laughs> Every time you see it, you know, he's just fucking balling. <laughs> keep my wife's name out of my With just tears just running down his face. <laughs> fucking snot. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, under Villains United writer uh, Gail Simone, Catman has achieved a new level of fame. Portrayed as a cunning warrior with a sense of honor, the character is now a potent anti hero. He is depicted with physical abilities that allow him to fight Mala to a standstill and to blind Captain Nazi. So he's Black Panther, basically. He's White Panther. <laughs> he's the White Panther. <laughs> uh, he is different from most other Batman villains in the sense that he is, has a noble and heroic quality to him. While Cheshire notes that Blake be- uh, behaves more like a hero than a villain, he sees heroes such as the Justice League as being arrogant and abusive of their power as seen whenever he confronts Green Arrow about the Dr. Light incident. So you remember that Dr. Light incident? I'm trying to forget. <laughs> it gets brought up so many times. Yeah, every God time. dang. <laughs> like consistently like a wet it's always every reference. fucking story. I know. It has been revealed that during his time with the Six, he impregnated Cheshire, and the two of them now have a son, Thomas Jr. Uh, so fucking weird was written so he impregnated her. It was it was just kind of so mechanical. He, he impregnated her. He grabbed his... uh. Is a turkey baster and he impregnated her. <laughs> oh. That was like a more intimate way to say it. Like he met Cheshire, they, they got close. Okay. Uh-huh. You know, they were intimate to be a little bit more, you know, classy. And then like uh, they had a shot, like, he impregnated her. <laughs> but that filthy. <laughs> <laughs> like the guy, like the guy's bad. He doesn't leave. Like he loves Cheshire, the guy that wrote the fucking the little thing. He's like, like bitch, you darling like, mother. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Uh, in Birds of Prey number 104, the Secret Six run into Barbara Gordon's team. Huntress and Catwoman, out of disguise, dance together. Cat, sorry, Huntress and Catman, not Catwoman. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, okay. I'll take them both. <laughs> hey, Catwoman and the Huntress dancing together. 
out of disguise dance together with hints of an attraction. The two teams battle six members for six. Uh, Catman paired against Huntress amid sexual innu innuendo, but the fray ends with the resurrection of Ice, <laughs> and not the not the Border Patrol, <laughs> but <laughs> Ice. Uh, <laughs> commenting upon Catman's reasonings, Knockout claimed that he had gone soft. But he did. <laughs> three rounds and he was done. <laughs> uh, in Salvation Run, number three, Catman and the former Secret Six teammates, Scandal and Ragdoll, are depicted against uh, are uh, depicted amongst DC's larger villain population, exiled on a faraway planet. Then we have Catman reappearing in the new Secret Six ongoing series, which takes place after the events of Salvation Run. Blake spent some time back in Africa, where he brutally attacked a gang of poachers and may have left them for dead. It's kind of left up to the interpretation. Well, let me see how the bodies look in the panel, and I'll tell you. <laughs> his, actions, uh, his actions have led Catman to wonder if he has the temperament to be one uh, on the side of the angels instead of the demons. Uh, it was in his role as leader of the Secret Six that Catman faced Batman again after many years. Batman tried to warn Catman, and his team did not accept this mission to break someone out of Alcatraz. You should always use a condom when he fucking disappears in a cloud. <laughs> <laughs> the non-personal warning did not work, so Batman went to confront Catman. Catman said in response, The old me probably would have whooped his uh, whooped his milk and cookies. Whooped his milk and cookies? Yes. What the that fuck is does that mean? I don't know. Like he'd, he'll just like, like, hey, Batman, and just fucking grabs a chocolate chip cookie and breaks it in half? Bitchy. What the fuck? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said about beating Batman. He's like, the old me probably would have whooped his milk and cookies. Fucked him up. <laughs> It's always would have. It would have been on site. <laughs> he made no hesitation to throw the first punch at the Dark Knight. During the fight, Batman even offered to pay the Secret Six off, but to no avail. Catman's main goal was to keep Batman distracted as the Secret Six broke to Batman's, the, Batman's called the Dark Knight, and uh, Thomas is called the, the Ferocious Feline. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, they broke Tarantula out of prison. After the cancellation of the series in 2011... Uh, Gail Simone real, uh, revealed on her Tumblr account. Oh, the, oh, the, the actual person. Okay, the, the writer. And they revealed this on their own Tumblr account. Just fucking like, yeah, wait. That, I know, like, still storyline, blah. This, uh, I don't know why you would have to go this far, but, you know, whatever. Uh, that Catman is, in fact, bisexual. Good for him. And that she had planned to reveal this in a story arc that was cut. She just, we, we get, we get a panel of him, him and Batman and Catwoman. She's all fucking in a pile together. That would have broke the internet. <laughs> uh, to be honest, uh, that's probably why they canceled the series. Because <laughs> it's like, that's not pertinent to the actual stories that's going on here. Uh, during the New 52, uh, Catman made his debut with an updated outfit in the December 2014 rebuilt, uh, reboot of The Secret Six. In the first issue of the series, he was captured by a mysterious group and put into a strange holding cell with the new team. <laughs> his bisexuality was confirmed in the issue whenever he was seen flirting with both a man and a woman. Try to see which one of <laughs> Trying to keep his, uh, his options open. <laughs> That's all it was. <laughs> so, Catman, uh, his, uh, and his abilities and powers, anyway. Catman is an Olympic-level athlete and skilled hand-to-hand -hand combatant. Able to hold his own against some of the most proficient beings and fighters in the DC Universe, including Bronze Tiger, Batman, and an actual lion. <laughs> he is That's also... right there. It's more like, that's, like, uh, like, in terms of, like, reality. Yeah. Like, if he could take a lion, like, okay, you fight a lion. <laughs> that's some serious shit. He is also one of the world's more uh, foremost hunters and trackers, possessing an extraordinary sense of smell and sight. He is also a skillful observant with the uh, accurate ability to notice and perceive different things going on that other people don't see. Sounds like me. So just details, details. I refined it a little bit. He wears razor-tipped gauntlets and uses a sharp-edged catarang modeled after Batman's battery. <laughs> Let me just stole Batman and just pretends it's a catarang. Like, like, Batman's like, hey, it looks like one that he found a lot. It's like fucking eight of them he's found. It's not bats or claws. <laughs> and a utility belt similar to Batman's. The belt frequency has a, uh, yeah, the belt frequently has a smiley face button a trophy he claimed from a misleading plot on a mission with the Secret Six. Catman has revealed several times, uh, or claimed several times, uh, both in his early appearances and modern ones, that his cape is mystical and able to restore mortal wounds. <laughs> but there's a shotgun bullet shell, he's like, oh, wait, fuck. <laughs> uh, he was once the owner of the pet Siberian tiger named Rasputin, which was trained and helped him commit crimes. 
<laughs> Rasputin has not been uh, utilized in his modern appearances, though. Uh, he also appeared in Batman Legends of the Dark Knight, Flashpoint, King of the Cats. King of the Cats? Yeah, King of the Cats. Uh, basically, it was uh, in the 1950s. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's a long Is that time. something old? Yeah. <laughs> He's actually appeared in a video game, too. Uh, Catman appeared in Batman Brave and the Bold, the video game. Oh, okay. Which is surprising. Uh, he made a cameo in Superman, Batman, Public Enemies, the animated movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Lego Batman movie. He made an appearance in that. Uh, Catman makes a non-speaking appearance in Scooby-Doo and Batman, the Brave and the Bold. <laughs> and a non-speaking cameo appearance in Injustice. Okay. Yeah. He's been around more than what you think. Yeah, he's been living it up. <laughs> Could all be less celebrity. Yeah. Uh, like, a, he's a B-rate villain, but, you know, he's not going to be ever on, like, the top of Batman's list, like Joker or Riddler. Like, but... You won't see him in the new Arkham game as, like, a main villain. Oh, that would be... So, oh. It was me, Batman. It was a Joker. It was me all along. It was Catman. Yeah. What's funny, what's funny is you have Catman trying to copy Batman, but then you have Owlman, which is more powerful than... Because <laughs> he whooped Batman's ass a couple of times. I think the whole point wasn't the owls supposed to be like the natural predators to bats? Yes. And that was the whole Court of Owls thing, too? That's why I said, where does Catman fall into that? I don't know. Do cats eat birds? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> eat a bat? I guess we'll find out. 